So now let us talk about finding square root of complex number or at least complex number written in polar form. Now remember if I take the square root or the second root of some number, say four, I always end up with the two solutions because this can be plus or minus two. When we find a complex root, if we have the nth root, we have n possible solutions. So if I am talking the fourth root of z, I am going to have four solution. If I am taking the square root of z, I'm going to have have two solutions or our formula for doing this if I have the nth root of z then we just take the nth root of our magnitude or our value then it is multiplied by the cosine and we divide our theta by that n but th then to get the other solutions we added to pi over n and then multiply a k k is this integer our first solution to our root k is equal to zero for the second solution of our root k would be equal to one for third solution k would be equal to 2 and so on and so forth until we find all of the solutions of our root all n of them so if n is 4 there's 4 solutions we do the same things for the sign take our original angle put and divide it by n but then we add 2 k p i over n for each additional solution that we need now if you are not measuring in radians realize that you don't need 2 pi here instead you would be adding 360 times k over n this 2 pi just represent one rotation around the pole so if you are measuring in degree one full rotation around the pole is 306 so let us try a practice problem here we have our formula we want to take the fourth roots of z where z is equal to 10 times the cosine of 60 plus i times the sine of 60 so the fourth root of z will that equal to to the fourth root of r which is 10 times the cosine of theta which is 60 divided by n which is 4 plus now i am not going to use 2k i am going to use 360 because we are measuring our angle and degree so plus 360 times k which for our first solution is 0 over n which is a 4 plus i times the sine of 60 over 4 theta over n plus 360 times k which in this time 0 over 4 and this is our first solution simplify it a little bit the fourth root of 10 that's 1.78 approximately 60 over 4 that is 15 degree 360 times 0 is 0 0 divided by 4 is still 0 so we have the cosine of 15 plus i times the sine of 15 and this is our first solution now we are going to end with the up pretty much the sum things for our second solution except our angle is going to be a little bit different if we take this part Part of this part they are the same for our next solution our k values goes up to 1 so this is going to become 60 over 4 which is 15 degree plus 360 times 1 this time over 4 for 360 times 1 over 4 is 90 so 15
15 degrees plus 90 degrees that is 150 degree so our second solution is 1.78 times the cosine of 105 degrees plus times the sine of 105 degrees for our third solution our k value goes up to the 2 so again we have 15 degree 60 over 4 plus 360 this times times 2 over 4 this is equal to 180 so I have 15 plus 180 which is equal to 195 so my third solution for this root is 1.78 times the cosine of 109 degrees plus I times the sine of 195 degrees one more solution to go for my force I go up to k of 3 so 60 over 4 is 15 again plus 360 times 3 this time over 4 360 times 3 and divided by 4 is 270 so 15 plus 270 is 285 so my first solutions is 100 1.78 times the cosine of 285 degrees plus 1 i times the sine of 285 degrees so these four complex numbers in polar form are all solutions to the fourth root of z and now that we figured out how to find complex roots that complete the tutorial and complex number and the more theorems.